All right, it is Thursday, December 27, 2018, at 4.44 p.m. All right, let's take a look at some news headlines. Mysterious century-old shipwreck unearthed on Jersey Shore. A unique holiday mystery is unfolding on the storm-battered beaches of the New Jersey Shore. Over the weekend, a shift in sand levels unearthed the remnants of a 25-foot shipwreck dating back to the 1800s at Stone Harbor Beach. The ship's origins are unclear, but some locals have reportedly speculated that the wreck may be the remains of a vessel that sank near Hartford Inlet in the 1800s. According to Stan Spurlack, a board member of the Cape May County Museum, the area where the shipwreck was uncovered was dangerous for sailors. Spurlock believes the wreck belonged to D.H. Ingram, a schooner carrying a cargo of limes that was bound for Virginia and sunk in 1886, New New Jersey.com reported. The vessel apparently sank about a mile and a half north of Hereford Lighthouse. A a wide range of factors impacts whether the shipwreck's remains are found, including storms with speeds and shifting sands. Several photographs of the shipwrecks have been circulating on social media, including the ones above the Werner Tedesco. You see here the shipwreck uncovered in New Jersey over the holiday weekend. Alright, next. Japan whale hunting. Commercial whaling to restart in July. Japan says it is to restart commercial whaling in July in a move that is likely to draw attention and national criticism. It is said it will withdraw from the International Whaling Commission the body tasked with whale conservation. Commercial whaling was banned by the IWC in 1986 after some species were driven almost to extinction. Officials in Japan and IWC members since 1951 says eating whales is part of the country's culture. For many years, Japan has hunted whales and what it calls scientific research and to sell the meat, a program widely criticized by conservationists. Wow, that was a mouthful. Alright, so that's pretty sad that they're going to continue hunting whales. All right, next, California girl dies in fall from scenic Arizona overlook. Authorities say a California girl visiting an Arizona landmark has died from what appears to be an accidental fall. Coconino County Sheriff officials say Wednesday that the body of a 14-year-old girl was bound was found about 700 feet or 213 meters below Horseshoe Bend Overlook. The tourist destination gives a view of horseshoe shaped span of the Colorado River following um, below red cliffs near the Arizona Utah border. There are no barriers. The, f- the girl's family reported her missing from the overlook Monday afternoon, and an Arizona Department of Public Safety helicopter later spotted her body. Authorities weren't able to recover it until Tuesday morning. Sheriff's deputies say the teen was visiting from San Jose, California area. They believe the fall was an accident, but are still investigating. That is so sad. Alright, next. More than 3,000 patients at New Jersey Surgery Center possibly exposed to HIV and hepatitis. The patients may have been exposed to bloodborne illnesses due to lapses in infection control and sterilization, according to the surgery center. An ambulatory surgery center in New Jersey may have exposed thousands of patients to HIV and hepatitis due to lapses in infection control and sterilization, the State Department of Health said Monday. More than 3,700 patients who had procedures at Health Plus Surgery Center in Saddlebrook, New Jersey, may have been exposed to blood-borne illnesses such as HIV, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C, according to a statement from the center. The patients at risk were treated at the surgery center between January 1st and September 7th, 2018. The discovery came after an investigation of the surgery center by State Department of Health, though it is not Im- immediately clear what prompted the investigation. The department found members of Health Plus staff were not following proper sterilization procedures and failed to comply with other regulations regarding the dispensing and storage of medication, as well as infection control, planning, and procedures, according to Health Surgery Center statement. Currently, there have been no re- report of infection or illnesses according to the Surgery Center and Health Department. That is pretty shocking to have more than 3,000 patients 
possibly exposed to HIV and hepatitis C and B. That is crazy. Hopefully nobody gets um, um, infected seriously and hopefully they get um, cured except for the HIV of course who still does not have a cure. Hopefully they find a cure for HIV soon but that is pretty insane to encounter that in a hospital. Alright guys, you guys stay safe. God bless. Hit like and subscribe and see you next time.